This lesson is going to be on slightly more advanced editing when you're editing on multi-tracks. We're just going to run through some of the things that you should keep in mind when editing on multi-tracks and some of the tools that you can use. And also, hopefully, we'll get through some tips and tricks to how to edit music. This is the segment as it looked when we finished it in the last lesson. Let me show you some of the problems that you have if you want to edit on multi-track. Let's say we want to cut out after layered beats. Layered beats pop. So we can make an in marker here because we want to take this out. Popular with his childhood favorites, Public Enemy. With and we want to make an out marker here. And now we can just cut this out and we have an edit that sounds like this. Ackerman says the band's music mixes the layered beats with guitars, drums, keyboards, even sitars. Which is fine. We only have a slight problem, which is now it doesn't fit here anymore. So for us to be able to make this edit properly, we need to edit on this track as well. So what we could do is just hold command, click on this track here. And now we can see the edit will go over both tracks. So we can just say cut. And now we've edited on both tracks. So it's fine. We have no problem right here. But we might have a problem further down the line, because if we now look at the music over here, or they admired. Big gap right there. So that's not going to work. So back we go again. Undo this edit. So for us to be able to do this edit, we need to edit on all tracks. Fortunately, there is a function for editing on all tracks. So I don't have to select all these tracks individually. If I have a selection like this, I can just press Command A. And it will now select on all tracks. If I press Command A again, it's only going to select on a single track. Command A toggles back and forth between all tracks and just the individual track. So in this case, all tracks, cut, And I can see my edit here still works. Even sitars. I think there's a pretty big... That works fine. If I look over here... Filmmaker they admired. Everything is still in sync. Now, in the next example we have, we would like to move things around. In this case, I want to move these segments to the other side over here and I want this segment here with the music to be moved back. That might sound complicated, but it really isn't. There's a number of ways that we can move things around. Let me start off by showing you my favorite and I think the easiest. If I hold Alt Command and click on this first region here, it's going to select this region and every region that follows. So now I can just move this out of the way. As we've seen previously, I can also make a marquee selection. So I can marquee select everything here. Like so. I can now just move this over here. So everything is still in sync. Marquee, select these two here. Just move it out of the way for a second. Going to time where I want it to come in. So this is where I want the next narration to come in. Now I'm just going to set a marker here, just so I can always come back. I'm going to select this area here. Just these two. Press 3 to come back to my marker. And now put this into place like we've seen before. Ackerman says the band's music mixes the layered beats with guitars, drums, keyboards. Select everything to end. 
and put that into place. If music makes me smile, then, then that's one of the goals. <laughs> so they launched a website called One Frame of Fame. On the site, there's a few other tools that you can use when editing on all tracks. Insert silence. Working with silence works this way. If I want to move this region here, I can insert a little bit of silence, press Command, right arrow, and it's going to insert this amount of silence in front of the region. So effectively, I just move the region. If I press Command, left arrow, or Control left on Windows, I'm going to subtract that amount of silence. This can be used in all kinds of different ways. I could create a selection like this on all tracks. And now press Command right arrow. And I've inserted on all tracks. So this is all still in sync. If I press Insert Silence again, we insert the same amount of silence once more. In this situation here, I want to find a breath that I can put in front of this. Now, first and foremost, I need to find a breath. But even before that, I will set a marker so I can always find back to this point. So now I can go happy hunting for a breath. I'm just going to zoom out now. Fortunately, I have the entire interview here. I can just drag that in and see if I can find something from the raw material. So right here, we have a nice breath that we can use. I could even drag that to my clipboard so I can use it later. Now let's go back to where we want to use it. If I just drag a short selection like this, I can just drag my breath in there. Like so. I'll make a crossfade. Let's have a listen to that. Uh, that kind of I've got a little bit of the er uh, here, and I don't need that. So I need to take that away. One way of doing that would be to trim this and then move it back, which would work fine. But there's actually an easier way. I can move the audio inside this region. If I hold down shift control and drag, I can now move the audio back and forth within the region. Shift command on Apple or shift control on Windows, hold them down and just drag inside the region like so. Let's have a listen now. That kind of... That was perfect. That's just what I wanted. You can just give that a little fade. In this situation here, we would like to expand the music that's lying underneath here. We like to do that with a loop. So let's see how we can actually do that. I'm just going to solo this track. Double click to get rid of the fades and just expand it slightly so we can see what we're doing. What I would like to do is loop this bit here. Do an out mark there and in mark here. We could just have a listen to this beat if we like. So that sounds fine. So what I can do now is say copy and duplicate. It puts a copy of what we've just selected at the end of the selection. If I do it again, like so. Now that we've duplicated, I would actually like something to pop up just before he says something here. I'm not quite sure what yet. So I'm just going to take everything here and just move it along. 
If I now drag out here, I might actually find something. Let's have a listen. The name of this dirty little boy, little girl. So there was actually something right there. So I'm going to make it in mark. The name of this dirty. And an out mark. I could now cut on all tracks, like so, just to keep everything in sync. I could also do something else. If I hold Shift Command Cut, I'm just cutting this bit out without affecting anything after it. Let me just show you that again. So I've made a selection within a region, Shift Command Cut or X. It's just going to cut this out within this region. Everything outside the region is not affected. This is a really cool trick to use sometimes. If I've done this properly, this is going to sound wrong, but be on beat. So the beat is right, but we can hear that we're in the middle of his talk right here. So all I need to do now is just drag this out slightly and hopefully it will fit with the beat right here. The name of this story, little boy, little girl. All that remains is for us to actually fade in and fade out. So I'm going to give it a sound bed. Turn down the volume here, turn down the volume here, and do another sound bed. <laughs> the name of this story, little boy, little girl today is the evil evil. The and if we can continue working this way, we could end up with a segment that looks more like this. Here we have music all the way underneath the interview, ending up with just playing a little bit of the music at the end. It takes some time listening to the music and finding just the right bit of music to cut together. But it's very satisfying to actually do it. So at the end of the day, you have something that sounds somewhat more interesting than we had after the first lesson. And hopefully you've learnt a few more tricks as we went along.